Hi, and welcome to the EMS virtual information session. My name is David Gaines. I'm the EMT program coordinator here at Broward College, proud Broward College EMT and paramedic graduate. We want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about our EMS programs here at Broward College. So what is EMS? EMS is Emergency Medical Services, and this consists of pre-hospital medical care. Individuals involved in EMS are either EMTs or paramedics or a combination of both, and they're highly trained healthcare professionals. We are usually first to a scene of a medical or traumatic emergency and initiate immediate life-saving care stabilize our patient and then transport those patients to local emergency rooms. There are a wide variety of job opportunities available for EMTs and paramedics. In Broward County, primarily there's a fire-based EMS system, which means that EMS is provided through local fire departments, making them fire rescue departments, combination departments that have EMS capabilities as well as fire suppression capabilities. Our primary employer is going to be these departments and as you can see listed on the slide, local municipalities in Broward County employ the vast majority of EMTs and paramedics. Broward College offers all training, EMT, paramedic, associate and bachelor's degree program and coursework. However, fire academy training must be completed at one of three local Broward County fire academies. Additional job opportunities available if you're not interested in fire rescue services are private ambulance companies. The, the largest private ambulance company in the country is American Medical Response. Usually there's job opportunity upon graduation for our students. Also local emergency departments uh, have EMTs and paramedics working um, within the ranks assisting nurses in emergency departments. And then uh, local doctor's offices and clinics can also uh, utilize EMTs and paramedics. The mission statement of Broward College EMS is to provide competent, culturally sensitive, skilled paramedics and EMTs who were exposed to a strong educational foundation inclusive of cognitive, psychomotor, and effective learning domains. Our goal is to provide graduates that offer the highest quality of pre-hospital emergency medical care through our partnerships within the community. We are the leading EMS program in Broward County. So some of the critical job skills and the things that you'll learn here at Broward College are the motor skills. Um, you're going to learn how to do multiple tasks simultaneously. You'll learn how to uh, work in a team environment. You'll learn to prioritize um, different skills and assessments. You have to do this in an organized environment while working under pressure. And of course, important to maintain emotional stability and professionalism when treating our patients. Program locations include both Central and North Campus. EMT is offered at both Central and North Campus. Paramedic 3 and 4 offered at the Davie Central Campus location. Our North Campus location in Coconut Creek in Building 41 offers EMT, Paramedic 1, and Paramedic 2 cohorts. So the EMS educational progression follows three distinct milestones. The first one is the EMT, Emergency Medical Technician Applied Technical Diploma, 12 credit 
course that's milestone number one that is completed in one semester transitions into the paramedic technical certificate four semester uh, program there and then finally follows up with two additional semesters in milestone three which is the associate in science degree in emergency medical services bachelor's degrees are also available through broward college in the field of supervision and management with a concentration in emergency management leadership so milestone one is the emp diploma program again this is our uh, applied technology diploma it is offered in a single semester five separate courses offered both day and evening uh, courses offered both at central and north campus important note that it is not covered on, by financial aid there are uh, again five separate courses they include an introduction course ems 1011 a uh, lecture portion ems 1119 a lab uh, which is ems 1119l hospital clinical EMS 1411 and your field clinical EMS 1421. It is a full time program. Schedule for the day course is usually a two hour lab early on either a Tuesday or a Thursday or a Monday or Friday, and then lecture two days per week on campus for a total of six hours per week. Um, Students will also have an obligation through their online course, EMS 1011, and uh, hospital rotations and field rotations. So it is a full-time program. Once a, the EMT coursework is completed, you will receive a EMT diploma that will make you eligible for both national and state licensure. A national exam is required through the NREMT, National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians. They are our licensing and governing board that provides the written and psychomotor exams for uh, both Florida and many other states. Once you complete that, you can transition directly into Paramedic 1. You may choose to go and start working in the field uh, upon completion. And some students choose to attend the fire academy uh, upon completion of the EMT program. So you have multiple options upon graduation from the EMT program. Once EMT is completed and national licensure is acquired, you may choose to enter the paramedic technical certificate. This is a four semester program. The first three semesters look very similar to the EMT program where you have a lecture twice a week, a lab, hospital and field obligations. That will continue for three semesters and finally paramedic four, your fourth semester is EMS 2653, your paramedic science internship. That's our capstone program. That's where you complete. The vast majority of your contact is going to be at fire rescue agencies. It's a total of 16 courses, making up 43 credit hours. This is offered uh, both day and night courses. Um, paramedic one and two, as we mentioned, are at our North Campus in Coconut Creek and paramedic three and four at Central Campus located in Davie. Financial aid is available for all of the paramedic courses. Entering either the EMT or paramedic program is a full-time commitment. General requirements will hover around 40 hours per week for both uh, in-class and out-of-class obligations. In order to be successful, time management is a really important key to the success of our students. Being a full-time college student does require uh, a certain amount of commitment and sacrifice. So it's important if you're considering becoming a full-time EMS student that you understand what those obligations 
will be. Milestone number three is our Associate in Science degree in EMS. Uh, two additional uh, semesters it can be completed in. It's an additional 19 general education uh, credit hours for a total of 73 total credits for the degree. It includes a wide variety of classes, basic foundational math, English composition, science, public speaking, and then we also have our EMS 2311, which is our EMS leadership practicum. This is an open enrollment program and it's offered year round at both Central and North Campus. AS degree major 2160. Broward College is really proud to now offer bachelor's degree in applied supervision and management with a subspecialty of emergency management leadership. This does require completion of your AS degree and addi 60 additional credits. It includes a wide variety of management and supervisory courses, including accounting, business law, human resource management, financial management, and community risk reduction. This degree will open up promotional opportunities um, once employed. This is a uh, open enrollment year round BAS degree major T100E. So if interested in applying for EMT eligibility is you must be 18 years old at the time of application. Proof of high school diploma or GED. You must possess a current unexpired American Heart Association basic life support CPR card. And then also complete a health science limited access application which is found online. Paramedic eligibility is you must have a certificate of completion from an accredited EMT program. You must also possess a current and active national registry EMT certification, active CPR card or BLS certification. And then there's also an entrance exam, the NFSI National Firefighter Selection Inventory Exam it's about a two and a half hour exam that looks at both cognitive and non-cognitive areas. Uh, that is offered at the testing center. And then of course, our online health science limited access application completed online. It's important to keep track of the application windows for each of the major terms. Uh, those will be listed on the our main health science website. EMT and paramedic applications are accepted only during those application windows. Uh, acceptance emails will be sent out 30 business days after those uh, windows close. If accepted, a student will receive information, step-by-step -step process on what needs to happen next. Of course, there's uh, course registration and payment and then there are some compliance issues um, that are required by uh, our affiliate partners, both at the hospitals and fire rescue agencies that you will be attending. This includes uh, medical physical examination, immunization records, background checks, and drug screening test testing. Uh, this the, the software that we utilize is known as American Data Bank's Complio, which is a compliance software. It's a tracking of all of these documents. So you will need to purchase a Complio account uh, and that will track again those compliance issues. Our goal here is to graduate and complete all of our students. We are strongly committed to student success. We want to encourage you uh, to consider taking EMS 1011, which is our online introduction to emergency medical services that is offered uh, through all of the major terms, fully online course. 
Uh, it's also highly recommended that you are at a college level in reading comprehension, math skills, and overall student success skills, including time management and test taking skills as well. So we want to thank you for attending the virtual information session for EMS. We want you to please complete your uh, EMS surveys. Uh, once you complete your Q&A session, review the documents that will be sent to you by one of our health science advisors. Make sure you submit those uh, applications within those application windows and check your email check that email to see any updates or further instructions. We want to thank you for your time and wish you the best in your field of EMS and we hope to see you very soon at Broward College.